Welcome to Investors Insights. Our topic today, are the bears in trouble? I'm joined by my distinguished colleagues, Adam Van Zandt and Ty Miller. And I think we've got some great information here for you today in relation to your portfolio and your financial blueprint. So we chose that because a bull market climbs a wall of worry. So with that topic, are the bears in trouble? We wanted to just elaborate on that thought process. I want you to look at this chart. You'll see the wall of worry. This market is having to deal with the Ukraine war. It is dealing with inflation running at 40-year highs. It is dealing with soaring short-term interest rates. And let's don't forget it because we've been dealing with it since 2020, the stubborn pandemic that just won't go away here in the United States as well as from a, a global standpoint. Also, I just want to point out the average cost of gasoline has risen 48% from a year ago to $4.24 a gallon. Folks, that's a wall of worry. So where does this take us? There's a lot of uneasiness. So with that, I'm going to ask Ty, first of all, to just uh, address the March 2020 lows. And here we are now in 2022 in March. Talk about that, Ty. Yeah, thanks, Barry. Last week was the two-year anniversary of the March 2020 lows. And, uh, you know, things seemed awful at that time. As you mentioned, a wall of worry. How are we going to get out of a pandemic just day after day of market taking and beating? And um, since that time, we're up 73% the last two years. This performance is in the 5%, uh, the 95th percentile of, uh, of returns in a two-year span. Um, and we've seen it from, from all over. Uh, tech ha has gained two percentage points in the, in the S&P, discretionary. Um, but then you have stuff like energy and financials that, that we've seen lately. So uh, it's been a broad-based rally. And, um, you know, it, it's been a good time to be in the market when, when you would think that all hope is lost. Yeah. And on that return, you're referring to the S&P 500, correct, Ty? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. And so, you know, uh, indices have all performed differently, but we focus on the S&P 500 as evident by the fact of Adam Van Zandt, who gives us the technical analysis. So Adam, talk about where we are now in this wall of worry and this possible bull market that's, that's climbing and, and forcing the bears to admit defeat. Definitely. Y'all gave some great economic data. Uh, so now I want to focus on technicals. The S&P 500 closed the highest it's been since February 9th at 4,543 on Friday. So we got a new short-term resistance level of 4,580 with a new support level of 4,500. Also, the 100-day moving average of the S&P 500 is currently at 4,546, almost spot on on that Friday close. So that's one number we really want to pay attention to. You know, will this create a new resistance level or support level? And can we say above it? If we say above it, we could see a more bullish tone in the markets and maybe potentially keep this rally going. If we fall below that, we could see the bears come out. So that's one thing we want to look at, you know, heading into the spring and summer. Well, and I always appreciate, Adam, in our portfolio strategies uh, meetings and in the hallways, you always remind us, guys, it's still volatile out there. You know, so we give these numbers. We want our clients to watch them closely. Uh, but also know that even though we're talking about are the bears in trouble and the bulls climbing the wall of worry, we're still going to have that volatility. And those numbers are so important. Mm -hmm. Now, we've talked numbers. We've talked gasoline prices. We've talked about inflation. But there's another number that we think is really important for you to watch. And Ty, you brought it up with the S&P 500, uh, you know, in terms of dividend yields. Oh, whoa. Income from stocks. Talk to me about that. Yeah. So the the bond market's been getting a lot of uh, a lot of publicity lately, and rightfully so. Um, the yields have, have been rising, and the ten year closed last week around two point four percent. And now, while we think fixed income is great for for any portfolio, it's a great diversifier. Um, it's important to know that the S and P five hundred, uh, the the average stock, is still um, yielding uh, when it comes to buybacks and dividends three and a half percent. Um, oh, wow. so that's pretty good compared to a 2.4% yield of a 10-year treasury bond. Yeah. Um, you know, in just the dividend yield alone, 
30% of the index still exceeds the 10-year treasury. So there's still income options out there in the equity market uh, that, that are worth exploring. It's not all bonds. Which is a great segue into the fact that in the portfolios we're designing for our clients in, in relation to their financial blueprint, it's a great way to generate income streams, especially for those that are retiring, correct? A- absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so these are strategies we want to make you aware of. We hope you uh, take these numbers that you've been writing them down, that you share them with people as the, the weather gets warmer and you're out there cooking hamburgers and steaks and going to the lake and to the beach. Uh, this week is spring break. Uh, we also want you to continue following us on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and also on our podcast. Uh, what means so much to us, those of you that continue to share those with family, friends, colleagues, and people looking for answers uh, in regards to this market, these historic times that we're in as we move forward in the 2022 year. We hope you have a great week as we continue to move through March here and in the first quarter of 2022. And we'll look forward to seeing you and talking to you next week. Thanks. (laughs) 